Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. Many students commonly ask me this question. What is it that examiner wants to see in our IELTS speaking? And then they give us the bench score. So this video is going to tell you that there are four things which you need to consider during your IELTS speaking test. If you consider these four things or if you fulfill these four criteria, you can get highest band in IELTS speaking. Okay. So anyways, let's make a start. You know, guys, examiners, they have their marking criteria and examiners marking criteria has four portions or there are four quadrants of examiners marking criteria. First of all, let's talk about fluency. Examiner will see whether you are struggling with English or you are speaking English comfortably because when you speak English comfortably, you are fluent. And when you are struggling with English, then there are so many us and us. Okay, I give you one example of struggling with English. Today, I would like to, to uh, tell you about my uh, favorite uh, drink. Uh, my favorite uh, drink uh, is uh, uh, coffee. Uh, I like coffee. Uh, coffee, uh, coffee is my favorite drink, and uh, I drink coffee uh, twice a day. Uh, twice a day, and uh, I like uh, 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 hot coffee. See that I'm struggling with English. What does it mean? Lack of fluency. One of the marking criteria out of nine band in fluency. I will get low. Okay, after fluency, the next marking criteria is pronunciation. Now, let me tell you one thing very clearly. IELTS examiner does not care about your accent. I mean, they don't want you to speak British English, American English, Canadian English or Australian English. What they want out of you is actually you speak standard English. Whatever you speak, it should be clear easy to understand okay and if there are any what do you say accents of your regional language in your english pronunciation you have to reduce that accent from your english what does it mean for example if i belong to punjab i i actually belong to punjab so i speak english like today i would like to tell you something very important uh, and uh, actually you know what happened uh, with me uh, like there was a small boy and uh, i gave him a toy and he wanted to enjoy <laughs> okay so i mean this is punjabi style to speak english right so if you speak like this, you will get low band score. But if you speak clearly and remember the sounds of English, sounds are C as K, P as P, T as T. For example, I would like to talk to you about something very important. That's okay. And by the way, my English is just, you know, standard English. Right? I, don't, I don't speak British American. Okay. Sometimes people complain about my English as well. But anyways... You need to speak clearly, pronounce every word, stress every syllable, right? Make examiner understand whatever you are speaking, okay? Next criteria is vocabulary. Now, examiner wants to see words that you use in your language. And let me tell you, you don't get good bench score or you don't get high bench score because you use high five vocabulary. You use like, you know, very tough vocabulary. People don't understand. No, they give you good bench score if you use a variety of words. And the key is synonyms. For example, if they ask you a question about music, how often do you listen to music? Now, music is the main word group and examiner wants to hear uh, the words which are related to music. For example, listen to music, loud music, rock, uh, then we've got classical. Okay, so I mean all these words examiner want to hear in your answer. If the question is how often do you listen to music? Well, I usually listen to music whenever I drive and at that time I prefer to listen to loud music, especially rock music is my most favorite. Sometimes I go for instrumental music as well, but mostly I like rock music. So to answer your question, I only listen to music when I drive. That's it. Okay, so something like this, 
I mean, otherwise, how often do you listen to music? I listen to music very often. I like music very much. Music is a diet of soul. Music is very good. I feel good when I listen to music. So I listen to music every day. See that? Listen to music, 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 music. You need to use at least five, six words. This is what I call vocabulary. Again, I'm telling you, if you stuff your answer with irrelevant words, that will bring you low bench score. After vocabulary, the next criteria is grammatical range and accuracy. We call it grammar. They see your sentence structure. And for this, it's very important. Just note the question of the examiner and the tense of examiner. For example, if the question is, how often do you do present simple tense? When did you did past simple tense? When will you will future simple tense? How long have you been? Have you been with ing form present perfect continuous tense? Right? Has there been any latest development in your hometown? Or what have been the latest developments in your hometown present perfect tense? So there are five tenses and all the questions of the examiner are going to be in these five tenses along with WH questions. Now it is compulsory for you to answer in the same tense. If the question is in present simple, answer in present simple, past simple, future simple. If the question is in present perfect, first sentence should be in present perfect. Uh, have you tasted any foreign food recently yes i've tasted a foreign dish very recently in fact last month i went to a chinese restaurant and there i enjoyed this food last month chinese restaurant past tense okay so for present perfect first sentence will be present and the remaining sentences are going to be in the past tense so this is all about grammar remember three c's mainly make compound sentences Compound sentence is, for example, uh, I use mobile phone in my free time because it's a wonderful time pass. I use mobile phone in my free time. It is a wonderful time pass. I have a mobile. I have this. I have that and all that. So try to avoid such type of simple sentences and mainly use compound sentences. Okay. Then complex sentences, conditional sentences. In speaking part two, try to use conjunctions, try to connect your ideas together and you will get good bench score. All the best guys. Thank you so very much. There are these four babies of IELTS speaking examiner and you have to tickle each baby and then you will get good bench score. All the best. I also teach IELTS online all over the world and in campus in Lahore, Pakistan. If you want to join my classes and we offer IELTS test booking service, we offer study plans before IELTS exam. So if you are interested in any of these services, my WhatsApp number is given. You can contact me for that. Asad Yaqub truly wishes you best of luck. Take care. Allah Hafiz.